Well everyone, by popular demand, I've returned to the shoe fly for an update. Not a whole lot has changed over the winter here. There's still a lot of work to go. And it's windy, so bear with me, but let's have a look here anyway. Okay, there's the new bridge right there. That bypasses the railroad crossing. You can see where the, the main line runs straight through there. The shoe fly starts there. That's the south end of the shoe fly. And it comes around this way. I'm standing right next to where the main line will be restored. The shoe fly track is on the left. Here's the main track right here. This is the main right of way. And this is where the crossing was eliminated. Uh, that several people, at least several, were killed here in several different accidents. The railroad crossing is now gone from this spot. Hopefully those crosses are still over there to my right. Man, it's windy. Sorry about all the wind. Okay, here's the shoe fly. And we've got a southbound train gonna come through here in a few minutes. So I'm gonna get on the other side of the tracks. And let's film that southbound train. Get that field going, son. Here we go. Here she comes, the southbound. All right.
There she goes, around the shoe fly, southbound. Man, that train was long. That DPU was working hard too. Wow, it's windy out here. Golly, I can't believe how windy it is. Although it's springtime, so I guess it's normal. Yeah, Norfolk Southern, just read an article, they're still wanting to make their trains even longer. They want to have less train starts and they want to make uh, a lot of their passing sidings longer too, get these longer trains through. So they want to have less train starts. Not too wild about that, but there you have it. Got some work going on today. That's the new railroad bridge right there, the new overpass. Ah, but wait, there's more. Of course, always is. Hey, I'm at the south end of the shoe fly now. Very south end of the shoe fly. I was about to give up. But we got a train coming. It's been about an hour and a half. With these trains being so long like this, there's less trains. This line used to get at least 30 trains a day. They get about half that now. Here they come, right around the shoe fly.
Wow, they were booking. Wow, what was the hurry? That was a good one. Another south boundary here on the Norfolk Southern. And this siding right here, this is all brand new track for the siding. Siding's been here for a long time, but when they put in this, um, this shoe fly here, redoing all this, they had to put a new track in. So this is all new track, but it's hardly ever used. Look how rusty the top of the rail is. I do have a video of them using this. I was here one time when they got one car out of here and you can tell where the old right of way used to be. Looks like a road there. It was right over there and there was a railroad crossing right there where that mound of gravel is. That's where the old siding went through. Okay, that was pretty neat. Thanks for watching everyone. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, do all that stuff. Hey, watch another video if you can. Every view really helps my channel. And the gas went up just a little bit on us here. So every view really helps. Okay, we'll see you later.